Hello everyone, my name is Rado Zaiza, welcome to my channel. And I have no microphone, yay! Because I got a new one and we'll talk about this in another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to install ADB and Fastboot the right way. I've seen many people online saying that ADB and Fastboot are just two files, adb.exe and fastboot.exe. Well, you can do some stuff with those, but it's not a complete tool. ADB is much more than ADB reboot or ADB reboot recovery or ADB reboot <laughs> ADB and fastboot are two tools that are very 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 powerful you can actually use ADB to back up everything on your phone and I mean everything but we're not gonna get into that we're gonna get into installing ADB and fastboot the right way also what I'm gonna show you is installing fastboot and ADB on Windows operating system only so let's get into that First of all, you should know that ADB and Fastboot aren't really related to Android hacking or rooting the Android operating system. You do use them for those, but you also use them to test your app or an app you're developing. So what you need to do is go to developer.android.com, hit develop at the top, then hit tools in the submenu of the develop go to other download options here and it'll lead you to the other download options section inside the other uh, web page so you have to pick any platform you want i have windows so i picked this one it's the recommended one okay i have read and agreed and then download the installer 24.1.2 windows.exe file once you download that it'll be a .exe file i have the 24.0.2 here so you're just gonna double click that okay next next whatever it's detecting uh, that if i have the java jdk i have actually the jdk with me i'm gonna install this for everyone using the computer okay c program files whatever whatever next and just hit install i've already do done this so i'm gonna i'm not gonna install but once you press install it will install to the path you chose here after that you're gonna have to go to the installation path i've installed it in c android sdk you'll see all of these files and folders now sdk manager is the android sdk or source, source development kit manager what you need to download is these two, SDK tools and SDK platform tools. I have these already installed. Also to test your apps and to really uh, go deep into uh, commands that work with your operating system, you can download the SDK platform for each API. These are extras if you have any, any extra stuff you want, like Google Play services, you can download that from here as well. Okay, so enough about SDK manager. You, you, we know that you have to download tools and platform tools for ADB and Fastboot to work. AVD manager is the Android virtual whatever. It's the virtual um, operating system you can run on your Windows machine. Anyway, what you're interested in is platform tools. What you have in, these, in the platform tools folder is adb.exe and fastboot.exe. But that's not all. You have other stuff as well and other... Um, ADB related tools that can help ADB to work better with your operating system. So what you need to do is to copy this path at the top here. Okay, I'm gonna hit right click copy. Then go to this PC or my computer in Windows 7, right click on it, go to properties, advanced system settings, environment variables, and then add the system variables section at the bottom window we can scroll to get to path the path variable that's what we need to edit so uh, to better see this right we're gonna edit the vari variable value I'm gonna copy all of that and make a new notepad file and paste that in there Okay, so now we see what's inside the path variable. So as you can see, I've sorted this right. You can see there's a lot of system variables here. So we're not gonna touch those. 
what we're going to add is the path to the platform tools folder which we copied earlier there so we're going to copy that add a semicolon here at the end and then paste and then add another semicolon so that we can add the tools folder as well we're going to have to add the tools folder as well so copy that and add a make sure there's a semicolon and then paste what we'll end up with is this whole thing so after my system variables i added a semicolon here and then c android sdk platform tools and then another semicolon here c android sdk tools so to test this i'm gonna plug in my phone to the pc and run adb devices and see if it gets recognized so i have my wire here and the phone and the pc of course plug in the phone to the pc using the usb 2 port which is recommended I'm gonna open up a command prompt and run adb devices as you can see the the command works actually the the daemon is running and the daemon means the process uh, it's running and the list of devices attached is my device to really test that it's my device I'm gonna do adb reboot so adb reboot and as soon as i hit enter it's gonna reboot there it is it's rebooting now so there you go we've installed adb and fastboot here and fastboot or already is working because adb is working which makes the whole configuration right so that's it guys we've installed the full version of everything along with some extra tools to help you and to encourage you to build your own apps there are some portable versions of adb but to my experience those versions gave me some problems this configuration does not make any adb or fastboot related problems the only problem that you're gonna run into is device specific drivers which you can install and over time you'll have every driver available in the world thank you all for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please like this video down below and subscribe to my channel and share please share this video to get the word out this was Rai Rosaizo on how to properly install adb and fastboot and i'll see you next time